Hi everyone, good evening, welcome to this video. This is Richie the Blind Hedgehog and I'm here with Haruki. So someone was asking for more Haruki content, so uh, as you can see she's entirely clean after the the wash. Actually she wasn't even dirty, but her, she just felt a little greasy and because I would hope it was better afterwards I gave her a bath, but she wasn't really dirty or something. Uh, but it's kind of it's kind of true that indeed she's a little less greasy now, but as you can see she has massive tails. <laughs> she is a plushie that came from Japan. It was a boy who bought it for his girlfriend and uh, his girlfriend was a bit tired of it I suppose. Um, and uh, and sold it. Um, so actually that story is kind of harsh is it? <laughs> well yeah so this is Haruki. Uh, I dug her up and uh, she's really beautiful. She's not the most sturdy plush. I think she's more like a souvenir plush. She has this beautiful little, well, fleck here. She's, she has this little marking here that gives her this this very spirit, spiritual look. Um, and I think this fox is also available in a more like a red color. I never saw it for sale, but I think I saw it on Amazon once. So there you go. This is a white one. She's a little overly stuffed. Um, I think I had her repaired too, but the, um, I don't really know how you would call these, but they're not really, really sturdy on this plush, so it's not the best quality plush, and her stuffing, she's a little over, over stuffed, um, so, and she sheds a little, she kind of is like the Wild Republic plushies in quality, and she sheds indeed, um. This is Haruki. You want to see her? Look at this. <laughs> and you can count she has nine tails. <laughs> so, I just received a um, a little package today. It contains a beautiful white husky plush. It will be as white as Haruki herself. But um, it's possible that I already have it in my collection. So, I'm just going to have a look. And if I want to resell it, well, I still can. Um, but yeah, I was quite intrigued by this plushie and uh, sometimes it's difficult to distinguish the plushies that I already have from the ones that I might like because I'm always attracted to the same plushies. So we're just going to open this and we're going to have a look. Uh, if we can remove Haruki, move your tails, all of them. Have a look here. So some might remember the big white husky. With a tail up, up her back, kind of reminds me of a Samoyed. Um, this might be pretty much like one. Uh, I can see already that mine is a little smaller, uh, a bit little bigger. Had the impression that this one is more furry too. I'm gonna have a look. Maybe they made her made them in different sizes. And my bigger one is called Ingrid. For some who might remember Ingrid. I still have her. She's really beautiful. I kinda like them because they kinda remind me of Samoyeds. Finding Samoyeds is quite difficult. So here she is. Well, she's definitely different. Ingrid has a different fur touch. And, uh, and this one is obviously white. While Ingrid might have been covered in grey airbrushing of some kind. And uh, she has a very pale shade of grey on some parts of her. I don't know if this husky does have this. Also, the tail is quite up. Ingrid's tail is a little... Well, she holds her tail pretty much like this as well. So, it, it, I suppose it's not exactly the same plushie, but it's definitely the same position. They're lookalikes, definitely. I was actually not sure in the beginning because I thought she had no eyes. Uh, and that is something that I do like on plushies. I don't like plushies without eyes. Uh, well, except for the one that don't have a face, but 
I thought her eyes drop out. But Ingrid has indeed the same tongue, so this might be the same model husky. Unfortunately, digging up Ingrid was a little difficult. I don't know exactly if I can find her right now. I think I placed her a little down in the basket. But I can have a look. This one is very furry. Let's see. I really like the legs too. I don't know all Ingrid's features about her, so making a comparison might be harsh on her, but... There's a little tush tag. Wait. Maybe I can show you this a little closer. If I can. There you go. I have no idea if this is a certain Brent. But I'm definitely glad with this plush. I'm gonna give her a brush because obviously as she can as you can see she's very furry. Very kinda reminds me of Acha's hair. She has the same fluffy hair. This is a really neat plush and obviously very clean too. Ingrid is a little larger. She's about 60 centimeters of something or something. This one is uh, is definitely something like 15 or 16 inch in length. Much, much not much smaller. So I have, I can I can put Haruki next to her. You can see, pretty much the same size. Uh, just one tail. <laughs> Probably with a love the tail look. And I did manage to find some Samoyed plushies. I really like the furry white ones. And on Vinted, well, Vinted kind of helped me to extend my white canine collection. Um, Haruki was one of them. And uh, some others too. Uh, difficult to dig them up right now, but... So this is how she looks. She's actually quite, well, pretty obvious uh, white. More like a husky or a Samoyed. Her muzzle is really short. A little short muzzle. And it's a bit of weird, weird shape too. More like a cat shaped muzzle at some point. I really love the fur. And it's actually seeing her fur that I thought she might be different than the one I already had. So I, I, I give it a try. I collected her and... Uh, but I don't regret it. Definitely not. Maybe I can just look up Ingrid, if I can. So the good news is um, that I managed to dig them up. So, <laughs> so first of all, this is the little husky I got today. I put a little collar on her. I've been grooming her a little bit. Make sure her hair is all less a mess. Um, you know, she seems actually quite comfortable with her tail on the right side. But actually, it goes on pretty well on both sides. I wasn't quite sure which side the tail was supposed to lay. Um, so this is uh, the little husky of today. And after all, it wasn't Ingrid exactly. Ingrid is right here. She's a white wolf, which I got on Amazon a while ago. But I got her at the same time as my bigger husky here. And this is the plush I wanted to compare this little smaller one with. So Ingrid is going to go back into the plushie basket. Because the plushie I was talking about is actually named Snow Queen. This is Snow Queen. Like I said, Ingrid and Snow Queen pretty much came together. Uh, not exactly in the same package, but it came in the same period. And Snow Queen, as you can see, is a bit, a bit of a larger husky. And her tail is much longer, too. Um, she also has her pretty big loop here. And as you can see, her fur is a little shorter. Um, and she's a massive size. So, yeah, she is pretty much like this one. Except this one is very furry, see, and a little smaller. But, well, maybe you can also compare their white fur. Uh, but it is possible that this husky used to be grey. Difficult to say. I managed to, yeah, I, I, I swear I could see some... some Leftovers or hair brushing on the tail and uh, when I was washing her, but there you go. So obviously They're not the same plushies and they are 
they're pretty much the same. Um, this tail is a little shorter too, of course, but I really like the size of this one too. Both plushies, both nice occasions, I could actually find them. They go so well together. Um, maybe I can record them like this together. I thought this collar was very fitting. Oh, it has sushi on it. I like the, the color and uh, for her this is, uh, this is a really nice, nice little color. So there you go. Not really sure these huskies are related by some brand or any many any way or any feature or maybe a common manufacturer. I have no idea. I know people are gonna ask. I have no idea. This one had a tag, like I showed previously. They both have the same tongue, and it's quite dirty too. But it would seem like these plushies might be a little vintage. Um, not exactly sure. My husky there has the same tongue, and he's definitely vintage. <laughs> but there you go. Um, I can check Snow Queen. Yeah, Ingrid is not actually concerned with these plushies. She's not actually uh, comparable with them. But uh, there's a Snow Queen. Um, Ingrid, sorry. Let's see if Snow Queen has. Here too, you, you can see some, some, some leftovers of, of hair airbrushing, or maybe just dirt. No tag at all, trying to feel. Even the leftovers of a tag, but lots of people here cut away tags. Uh, yeah, here it is. It was her tag somewhere. Not, not, nothing left of it. So... Obviously, as you can see, she's a massive size, and the tail is even more massive. <laughs> and here we have um, the smaller one. She's very lovely looking, very cute. Um, I was thinking of naming her Iglo. Nice size, nice plush, nice dog, nice finishings. This is a really good surprise. So, I'm not gonna sell her after all. It was a good idea collecting her, actually. And I think her collar fits really well. So, to finish the video, I'm gonna put Snow Queen and her pup together. Obviously, as you can see, the fur is a little shorter on Snow Queen. This one is more like uh, very fuzzy, very as I like it, actually. So there you go. I really hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.